When you are calculating room quantities, there are different standards that may be used. You may apply materials to rooms and edit surface materials. You may also toggle on or off the display of quantity and finish IDs. Let's review this. On the Vision Tools tab Room Book panel, I'll click the Calculation Settings tool to open the Room Book Calculation Settings dialog box. The current calculation standard is listed at the top. I'll click the Change button on the upper right to open the Change Room Book Standard dialog box. The previous and new standard are listed and there is a drop-down to select different standards. A description of the standard is below this and there is an option to set as default for new drawings. On the bottom left is a Restore Defaults button. I'll click Cancel. In the Settings area of the Room Book Calculation Settings dialog box, there are sub-areas listed. There are options for Consider Interferences or Body Modifiers as sub-areas, which may be set to either Yes or No. On the bottom left, there is an option to set as default for new drawings and a Restore Defaults button. I'll click Cancel, then I'll click the Surface Materials tool drop-down. There are two options. The first is for Apply Surface Materials to Rooms. The Tool Palette's Design Group Room Book Palette has several tools for assigning specific surface materials to spaces. I'll click the Bathroom tool, then pick the Restroom Women Medium Space. I'll select the Apply Surface Materials to Room tool to open the Apply Surface Materials to Spaces dialog box. At the top is the Surface Material Style option. You may choose by object, standard, or any you added to the drawing from the Room Book palette. Below that is a list of the spaces in the current drawing. There are columns for item number, then space number, name, surface material, and level. The Surface Material Style has a drop-down where you may also choose by object, standard, or any added to the drawing from the Room Book palette. I'll select an item in the list, then click the Highlight Magnifying Glass above the first column on the left to zoom the drawing to that entity and temporarily close the dialog box. Pressing the Escape key returns you to the dialog box. There is an Apply button on the upper right to make changes while remaining in the dialog box. I'll click Cancel. Now I'll click the Edit Surface Materials tool to open the Room Book Surface Material Style dialog box. In the Surface Material Style section at the top is a drop-down of styles and a description area below that. On the upper right are three buttons for Save, Delete, and Import Export. The Style Properties section has options for wall, floor, and ceiling surfaces as well as for room perimeters. Each property has options for material source and materials. If the material source is set to By Object, the Materials option is not selectable. I'll change the source using the Custom drop-down, which allows you to choose the materials. Next, I'll select the Ellipsis button to open the Materials Assignment dialog box, where you may add or remove materials from the Selected Materials column. I'll click Cancel twice, to return to the drawing. The Room IDs drop-down has options to Hide Show Quantity IDs, Hide Show Finish IDs, and Hide Show Finish IDs in Model. These are also available from the Room Book palette. Once you have calculated room quantities, use these options to toggle on and off the display of the MultiView blocks Room Book Quantity ID and Room Book Finish ID. These are placed on their own unique layers as well.